What's up, gotcha gang? Kawaii 50 here, back with more Yakuza Like a Dragon. So, when we last left off, Kasuga had taken the young master out to a hostess club to meet his girlfriend, but unfortunately, they found out that the young master's girlfriend was really just grifting him for money and taking all of his gifts and didn't actually care about him, which, in the simplest terms, is a mega bummer. It's a goddamn shame. But now, Kasuga has to return to the family in order to finish up the collections that he made for that day. And I think we're getting close to the time skip. I'm pretty sure we're going to go to jail in this installment. So let's go ahead and let's head to jail. Or at least the event that's going to make us go to jail. Yeah, we didn't get a lot of action in the last video. Let's go ahead and tease up some gameplay first. Newbie Yakuza. All right, let's go. Boom, boom, boom. It's kind of funny how I straight up just walked up to that guy and beat him into the dirt for no reason. I mean, I'll take it. I'll farm all the EXP I can. I've heard later in the game that there is a little bit of a grinding issue. So, if we can just follow the very first rule of JRPGs, which is farm all the experience you can whenever you can farm it, never run away from battle, I think we're going to be fine. Okay, but uh, let's see what we got here. All right, we got two more guys to fight. Are these guys drunks? I bet they're drunks. Capitalist Punisher. Oh, I'm ready to punish some capitalism. Hell yeah. Bye. What? That's not cool. We are taking you down, dude. Boom. All right. And we got this last guy to deal with. Easy clap. All right. Not sure if that yen will carry over, but we farmed up some decent experience. Let's get back to the office. What happened with that porn peddler? Sir, Aniki took care of him today. He won't ever pull that shit again without going through us first. I like the qualifier. <laughs> okay. And how much did you get from him? Uh, about that, uh... I gave the money back to the high schoolers who bought the videos. It was the fair thing to do, and the kids were grateful to our family. I see. And that debt we bought? He's not going to oh, be happy. Yeah. Went off without a hitch. Here's the guy's wallet. Just as you requested, sir. All the money's there, including interest. Nice. I bet that's Costco's money. Wow. Excellent work. Is that what you thought I would say? <laughs> this bill strap is from the young master's bank. Ichi, what's the real Oh, story? no. There is no real story. The young master gave that to me. I swear. He gave it to you. <clears throat> or did you beg him for it to make quota? Begging for scrap <coughs> to fix your Ah, yikes. I didn't beg. I have too much pride to pull something like that. Rude, dude. You have pride when you can't earn for the family? <laughs> What's that look? Pretending it didn't hurt. You don't even know pain. Uh, I wish Costco could beat Not this guy's Yakuza ass. Anyway. A Yakuza takes real responsibility. Hey! Bring me the knife. But he's gotta respect that hierarchy, I guess. Are they going to take a finger? Uh, 
do it. Oh boy. What's wrong? You don't know how real Yakuza atone? Fine. I'll show you. <laughs> If you're lucky, it'll slip right between the joints for a clean cut. If you're lucky. Good to see you, boss. Welcome back, boss. Welcome oh, back, sir. Boss. Ichi, walk with me. Uh, yes, sir. Now this can go one of two ways. Boss can either be a really nice guy or his hard childhood could have gotten to him. I don't know which it's going to be. Boss, you saved my ass back there. Can't you at least try to get along with Joe? Well, no, he hates my guts. Just because, well, I'm not much of an earner. Try putting yourself in his shoes. He's doing his duty as a family treasurer. Sure, I know that, but it's like we just have different visions of what a Yakuza should be, you know? To me, it's more about duty and standing up for people, not money. And it's okay to see things differently. That's the strength of the Arakawa party. Nice, dude. S sorry, party? <laughs> it's not so different than those games you like, is it? <laughs> Everyone has a certain skill they bring to the table. Some people are like you, charging in head first without a thought. Others cover your ass like Mitsu, and some are better at cracking the whip. That's Joe. All of these people keep the organization running. Yeah, and you're the king of them all. The king? <laughs> to me, all of you are more like sons than subjects. <laughs> uh, I really like bosses. I mean, he's going to die. You looked after Masato today, right? Yes, sir. Sorry to keep asking you to help me with something so personal. How was he? F fine. That's good to hear. These days, he doesn't even answer my calls. I may be king of the Arakawa family, but to my other family, it's nothing but a title. <laughs> well, Ichiban. Why don't we go get our last meal of the 20th century? Yeah, sure. Nice. You know, I gotta say, the animation in this game has been really, really impressive. I'm really thrilled with what Ryu Gago Toku has pulled off here. I'm just, we're still in the introduction, you know? I want to get into the meat and potatoes. I want to level up my party. I want to try and figure out what the best builds are. I want to do all of that meaty RPG stuff. I'm waiting for it. Did you see that? I guess nobody cares about PDA on New Year's. That reminds me. You find yourself a girl yet? No, sir. I'm like a reverse chick magnet. <laughs> <laughs> Don't be so quick to throw in the towel. Easy for you to say. You probably had girls all over you at my age. What? I won't abide such slander. <laughs> no, I... You use the past tense. Growing silver has only made me a bigger hit with the ladies. Ah, silver fox. <laughs> <laughs> of course, of all the women over the years, there was only one. Just one I might have started a family with. Yeah? Yes. Masato's mother. Oh. I've never told you the details, have I? No, sir. I, <sighs> uh, I do know that she passed away. Yes. Let me start on New Year's Eve 24 years ago. I was just a grunt in the Hikawa family, but the patriarch... Asked me if I'd marry his daughter. Boss has such a tragic she past. She was the young master's mother? Just listen. I love someone else. Her name was Akane. Uh-oh. What did... I was naive. <laughs> I thought if I ignored my boss's daughter, she'd get annoyed and dump me. The whole time, 
I was dating Nakane in secret on the side. I remember the moment she told me she was pregnant. Oh, man. I knew right then what I needed to do. I had to step up as a man. Problem was, I couldn't find the right moment to tell the boss about Akane and our child. By the time I worked up the courage to tell him, Akane was almost due. So I got down on my hands and knees and told the boss I already had a girl. He didn't let you off easy, I take it. Oh. He had his guys beat the shit out of me. Oh my god. I entered the new year barely able to move. If only it could have been over and done with then. Huh? The boss gave an order to the family. An order to kill Akane. What? Kill her? Yes. I couldn't believe it myself. But he was serious. Even though we were a small family, we were very good at making people disappear. And when we killed, the body was never found. That's what was waiting for Akane and me, for bringing shame to the Patriarch. That's a crime family for you. To this day, I have no idea how I got out alive. When I learned what was happening, I fled. I don't think they expected that after how badly they beat me. At the same time, Akane was at the hospital having the baby. <gasps> I called her and told her to leave as soon as possible. I knew Yakuza were already on their way to the hospital, so I made a plan. I told her we could meet at this cafe so we could skip town. Cafe Alps? Yes. I waited and waited, but she never came. But just as I was about to lose all hope, I got a call. Dog. That's freaking tragic. This maybe have something to do with the young master's condition? Akane? Hello? Where are you? I thought they caught you. Our, our baby is here. Huh? Our son. What? Yeah, I got away, but they're not far behind. I, I have to keep moving. Where are you? I'll come get you. Shinjuku Station. Right the lockers. Okay, stay there. Try to blend into the crowd. They're here. What do I do? Akane, they're looking for a woman with a baby. Hide him in a locker and walk out. Keep a low profile. One poor baby in a locker? What are you saying? Uh, don't worry. I'll come get him as soon as I can. Once you're in a safe place, call the manager at Cafe Alps. Tell him where you are. Jeez. Now hurry. Put the baby in a locker. <sighs> okay. Take good care of him. Akane. Hey, there she is. That's her! Go, go, go! Hey! Fucking it! Where's the woman? Damn it! Where'd she go? Hurry up and find her! <laughs> Shit! Am I gonna play through this? I thought I was going to play through it and see some like high level Yakuza skills or something like that. More messed up. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> 
Hold on! I'll get you out! What's going on? You're so crazy. Damn it! Open, you piece of shit! Open! Should we call the police? Good God, dude. Baby Master. Our child and ran to a hospital. It's because he told her to do that that he ended up that way. The doctor examined Masato and said he had multiple organ failure due to low body temperature. Oh, come on, so that's dude. That's why the young master is in a chair. Yes, it was that cold inside the locker. Oh, my God. And apparently, if I had found him five minutes earlier, it could have prevented the complications. Boss, it wasn't your fault. I mean, you got there as soon as you could. I just want to apologize to you. You're burdened with Masato's care because of me. I don't think of it that way, sir. I never saw Akane again after that. She oh ran to a bar she knew, but the Hikawa family was already there. As I was taking Masato to the hospital, they were taking her away. They killed her. Oh. A few days later, the Patriarch and several of his men disappeared. The Hikawa family had ceased to exist. Wait, did you? Oh, never mind. Forget it. <laughs> Sorry for rambling on and on. Ah, uh, it's so but sad, gang. There is something I've always wanted to tell you, even if only by oath. I consider you a son as well. Oh, jeez, sir. That's... Well, enough gloomy talk. Let's eat, hmm? I'm starving. Why do I feel like they're going to kill too. Boss? Oh, man. That's a this backstory part has just been like dark after dark after dark. They're really laying it on thick with the dark backstory and the melodrama right now. Not that I don't like it, just oh my gosh, it's a lot to take in. Well, Seeing as I'm the king and all, how about we feast on the king of Chinese food? What could that be? Oh, gyoza! <laughs> no, not gyoza. Peking duck. Duck? I, this... Is that even edible? Mm -hmm. No, don't go eat the duck. The, the duck, duck is, is cursed. Dried in the sun, then roasted. And the skin comes out so crispy and delicious, you'll love it. You peel off the perfectly brown skin, wrap it in seasoned dough. Then your mouth is filled with the sweet and spicy fragrance of the sauce. The duck is cursed, don't do it. <laughs> that does sound good. Yes, which is why in ancient China, only the imperial court ate it. Oh, so it really is the king of Chinese food. Yep. But, I wonder if we can find it in Kamrochu. There's gotta be a place serving it somewhere. So while I pause and pop up the volume just a smidge, gang. Just a teeny tiny eensy weensy smidge. 
you see what they're doing, right? You all see what they're doing with this. Like, this is a parallel to when our boss's father died. It's a massive, massive parallel. And I just, I kind of feel like that this is like where they're going to kill, they might kill him off here and like a history repeats itself sort of way. Seriously? Hey, you guys open? We need pancake talk. Relax, Jibam. It's almost the new year. The employees are probably at home waiting to ring it in with their families. Man, I really wanted to try it though. <laughs> Another time, I promise. Yeah? Thank you, sir. <laughs> that duck got lucky today. But he won't get away from us next time. <laughs> 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 Have a good New Year's, you two! Ichiban, what have I told you? Oh, sorry. Be careful where you laugh outdoors. The only time a Yakuza should laugh with his teeth is when he's with family or when he's in deep shit. I know. Right. Reputation is everything for a Yakuza. Reputation is everything well, for him. Since we missed our shot at the duck, shall we go to our usual Oden place? <sighs> Sounds good. Yeah, man. Let's go get some Odin. Oh, I really thought they were going to do a parallel between when his father died and right now. I really, really did. Just seemed like they were laying it on super thick. Now what's wrong, Ichi? You look like you're about to shit yourself. Fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you stop by to help out at home every now and then? Uh, not for a while, I guess. You should treasure the place where you grew up. It's not like it was the most normal place for a kid to be. No matter how it happened, home is home. One day you won't be able to go back, you know. Boss is just dispensing with the ancient wisdom. First, I came into this world screaming inside this sleazy soap land. Is this where we get a flashback? Flashback to the hero's childhood? There we go. My mom worked at Soaplands. She even popped me out in one. Then she disappeared. I didn't know that till I was older, when Dad told me. I say Dad, but we weren't related by blood. He was the owner of the Soapland that took me in. Don't know who my other dad is. Probably some guy who dropped in for a wham-bam. Thank you, ma'am. Hey, can someone keep an eye on Ichiban? Oh, come here, Ichi. <laughs> hey, it's my turn to hold him. I was raised by this city's working class folks. So that's why he's so down to earth. That's a that's a real good way to pull it in, actually. That's why he like wants to be a hero and I guess like fight for the common man and all that stuff and isn't so concerned with money as he is with people. It seems like a good way to work that in the backstory. Right, there we go. According to society, all those people who raised me are scum. Well, I suppose that would make me scum too. Ah, boss. What? N never. You're everything I want to be. You're like a god. <laughs> so, first I'm a king, and now I'm a god? <laughs>
When I met you, I had just graduated middle school. After my foster dad died, I dropped out of school and just started drifting. Just picking fights, shaking people down for easy money. But karma always catches up to a dumbass punk. Sure does. Eventually, I beat up the wrong guy. A Yakuza. So, yeah. His crew locked me in a Yakuza office and beat the shit out of me. I thought I was a goner, but I made one last ditch effort to live and yelled out a name. Arakawa. What? The Arakawa family. If you kill me, they'll hunt every last one of you down. In those days, the name Arakawa the Assassin was like a whispered threat. I didn't give a shit about Yakuza, who they were at the time, but I knew that name. I thought if I name dropped them, maybe they'd freak out and let me live. You're saying you're Arakawa? A kid like you? Damn, that's quick thinking. But my plan backfired, big time. Turned out, these guys were in a huge turf dispute with the Arakawa family. Oh sh! God so damn it! Little brats damn near beat my boy to death. Says his name's Ichiban Kasuga. Oh, he ain't getting away. Not in the sorry state we put him in. You want him back, you better send Patriarch Arakawa personally. I knew the jig was up. I'd never even met Arakawa, so obviously he wasn't gonna come. But he did. Maybe we ought to just kill him, Oniki. Arakawa ain't gonna show his face to pick up his trash. Looks like you're shit out of luck, you little brat. <gasps> Sorry I'm late. You guys always go this hard on kids. Yo, Arakawa, my dude. You've got? Arakawa son, the little fuck damn near took our guy out. We can't just hand him back to you without some compensation. Somebody's got to take responsibility. I see. Well, how about a finger? I'll trade you my finger for him. Sound fair? Dude! I'll just borrow this. <sighs> All right, then. Let's go, you little shit. Uh, I... Good lord. What? Araka was the man! You saved my life. Why? How can I think? <laughs> Save your blubbering gratitude. That finger wasn't for you. I'm a Yakuza. For us, reputation is everything. My face, my name, they mean something. What do you think it would have meant if I begged them to return you? The whole Arakawa family would have paid for it. If a Yakuza shows weakness, he's done. I did the only thing that would preserve my family's cred. Not the only thing. You could have just said you didn't know me. Why not do that? Why not, indeed? Maybe I wanted to make an impression on a kid who knew my name. Guy, he's so cool. He's and so cool. Moment, I saw my life's path ahead of me. It was following this man. He's so cool. Welcome back, Patriarch Arakawa! Back the fuck up! How many times I gotta say this? We got no cups for punks like you. 
Never mind the kid, Joe. Ah, so Joe never liked him. I didn't care how often they ignored me or what they said. I stood outside that office every day. In the pouring rain. Under the scorching sun. Welcome back, Patriarch Arakawa! Who's he? You know him? Go on ahead, Masato. Kid, the Yakuza isn't something to aspire to. Haven't your parents explained that to you? I don't have parents, sir! I had a foster dad, but he's dead now! Come on. Sir! It's been 100 days since I'd met Arakawa-san. Oh my gosh. That's some freaking loyalty right there. 100 days. 100 freaking days. Wow. Just wow. I couldn't stand outside an office for a hundred days. I'll tell you that right now. Man, that Odin is always so freaking good. Thanks for treating me, boss. Sure thing. Yo, there were some people who just straight up disappeared. <laughs> Now, seeing the Sega Arcade there is sad, because I know it's shutting down. Hey, it's almost time for the countdown. Hey, stop it! You came here alone on New Year's Eve. That means you're looking for one thing. Leave me alone! Quit acting like you're too good for us. Let's have some fun. Oh, it's time to throw Sometimes down. It's the scum of society that has to do the cleaning up. Oh, that's a go ahead. Hey, a new century is about to start, and I know you don't want to spend the first week lying in a hospital bed. Get out of here before an old man has to crack some skulls. The hell you say? Keep out of this. Who the fuck are you? Tojo clan, Arakawa family. Now get your drunk asses away from the lady here. Time to go home and listen to the New Year's bells like good boys. Hold on, are you guys Yakuza? <laughs> They've gotta be. Look, he's got the hair and everything. Yeah, plus they're wearing costumes straight out of a mafia movie. You fuckers better not be making fun of us. Hey, boss, leave this to me. Oh, here we go. Time to take down some punks. It's been a few years since I saw you fight. Hopefully you're stronger now. <laughs> what is with that? Uh -huh. What Just is with that Just wait till pose? you see what I can do. All right, street punks. Let's go. Yeah. Tenacious fist time. Immediately. Dang, dude. Street punk Akita skips around like a jackass. <laughs> I guess it's good I took out the other guy first because this dude was using taunt mechanics. Okay. I accidentally did that fight in the best way possible. Who is 
this guy. He's crazy. You okay, miss? <laughs> Get away from me! Hey, come on, at least thank the boss. It's fine. Just forget it, Ichi. Remember, we're Yakuza. Yeah. That means we got a bolt. That. Now then, I'll see you later, Ichi. You better show up at the office next year. Ha! Wouldn't miss it for the world. Good night, boss. <laughs> boss you even too. made a dad joke. <laughs> Man, he's such a badass. Now I wouldn't mind another drink. Happy like a decade ago. Oh god, that is like a decade ago. Oh my gosh. That's not a bad way to spend a New Year's. Alright, I'm still... Something bad is going to happen this New Year's Eve. Something horrible is going to happen this New Year's Eve. It's just... It's weird going into the game and knowing that. Wake up. It's not this, though. It's not this. Fell asleep. It's dangerous to fall asleep outdoors, you know. Can I see identification? Identification? Yes, like your license. A violent crime was committed out here recently. Shit! My wallet's gone! Ah, uh, you see why you shouldn't sleep out here? You need to file a stolen item report now? I'm busy, so you'll have to go down to the station. That's gonna be like all the money iron so far, right? Hi, boss. First of all, Happy New Year! Sorry to call you first thing in the morning, Ichi. No problem. I'm up and ready to seize the day. Can you come by the office? Sure thing. You want to go out for the first shrine visit of the year? No. Just come to the office. Try to be inconspicuous. Uh, okay. You got it. This, he said violent crime. I've been asked to come to the office. So I'm thinking this is it. There's cops freaking everywhere. Yeah, that one cop did say it had been a crime. So we'll take the back streets. I was heading that way anyways, but okay. There's some crazy music playing, so something's going down. Hold up. What family you from? Arakawa, and don't you forget it. Oh, yeah, asshole? How about you don't forget your place? Oh, yeah? And who the fuck are you? The Sakaki family, dumbass! So the battle is on. Oh, okay. Cool. <laughs> Listen, they got knives. This is not great. They're really backing me into a corner. Whoa, hey! Dang, 
Dang, they're going in on me. Let's take out the level 2 one. Alright, now that we only got the ones to deal with. Nice dodge, dude. Now we only got the ones to deal with. It should be fine. I still haven't been able to use a weapon attack yet, and I'm wondering why that is. They said if you end your turn near a weapon, it happens. I guess I just haven't had the chance. Alright, let's finish this off. Yeah, three dollars. Nice stat boost. Fuck you. You're gonna regret this. What the hell was that about? Probably nothing. We've always got some kind of beef with the Sakaki going on. I don't think it's just gonna be a beef, my dude. Took a while. Gotta head into the office. I don't think it's just gonna be a beef. Good morning. Oh, Ichi. Have a seat. Sir! That's a lot of booze. Stop. Just sit down. Uh, sure. You know the Sakagi family, right? You mean the family we've been fighting with? Hmm. We're fighting them because of a rumor that they're connected to the Omi. But aren't the Omi all the way out in Kansai? Yes. They control the entire region. They're much bigger than most people realize. The Tojo clan has butted heads with them for years. It's a bitter rivalry. And what? The Sakaki family's cooperating with them? No. The Sakaki family isn't stupid enough to commit outright treason. But they have been selling intel to the Omi for some quick, easy cash. <sighs> I confronted them about it at an officer's meeting. But their patriarch pretended not to know anything. Of course. Bastard traitor. Long story short, they don't like us much right now. But at the same time, they still report directly to our main family. So we need to be careful. We don't want to cause the main family any trouble. That said... Did something happen? Two hours ago, I got a call from Joe. He... He shot a Sakaki Yakuza. Really? Dude! Apparently, he just happened to run into one of them. They were both alone. No other men. It was one on one. They talk shit to each other for a bit. Then, Joe pulled his gun. Luckily, no one saw them. But the police have already found the other guy's body. It's only a matter of time before they raid our office. <sighs> if word gets out that our captain killed someone from a family above ours, it will be considered mutiny. We'll be expelled from the Tojo clan. And our tiny family will go up in smoke. I like how when he put his hands together, you saw the finger he was missing. You see why I can't let Joe get arrested for this. Ichi, would you be willing to take his place? Are you serious, boss? I mean... I 
I've been waiting for a shot like this. Ichi, you selfless this punk. It's my chance to finally repay my debt to you. After everything you've done for me. Let him lock me up for 10 or even 20 years. I'd be happy to do it for you. Dude, so selfless. Holy crap. Ichi. I gotta say, I did not expect to go to jail like that. I just knew Ichi was going to jail. But I didn't expect it to be like that. Happy birthday, Aniki! Hey, me too. It's his freaking birthday! Good job surviving another year. <laughs> we made it to a new century. Oh, yeah. Guess so. Damn, you sound pretty bored for a birthday, boy. What's up with you? Are you going to your first shrine visit of the year? How about we do Kamaro again? You do it, and have a good time. I'm not going. Huh? Why not? Something came up. Did Captain Sawashiro spring something on you? Yeah, basically. The new year's barely begun and he's already working you like a dog. No holidays for the Yakuza. We work 365 days a year. So you're gonna be busy all day? Me too. How old are you right now? Uh, 20, if you really want to know. Why? So in 10 years, you'll be 30. In 20, you'll be 40. Great math, dude. What are you getting at? Just eat well and live life to the fullest, man. Uh, you feeling okay? <laughs> I'll call you later. All right. I gotta say, gang, I really like Ichi. I really, really like this guy. It's not only the fact that, you know, he wants to be a hero, but it's a lot to say it. It's a lot to say that you want to be a hero. Because talk is cheap. Words are cheap. But it's more than that to, you know, exhibit this kind of loyalty and try to, like, put, put what you want to be into practice. So I gotta say, gang, Ichi's really resonating with me. I guess we'll fight these guys. Alright, we gotta take out the Capitalist Punisher first. Got him. And got him. All right, guys, let's go get this beef bowl. That's more than one beef bowl, Ichi. Might be my last meal as a free man for a while. Yo, hit me with one more. Huh? <laughs> sure. Coming right up. Another beef bowl. It pains me to say this, Ichi, but you've been banished from the family effective last month. What? I'm banished? If only he'd been from a family outside the clan, I could have merely expelled you. But this man, not only was he Tojo, he reported directly to the main family. But being banished, doesn't that mean I can never come back? Don't worry. I'll be working on that personally. 
I'll have the whole thing reversed by the time you get out of prison. Thank you, boss. And perhaps banishment will work in our favor. Dang. The court will go easier on you now that you're just a civilian. Let them do their worst. I can handle a few years in the can. Poor Ichi. You gotta savor every last moment, don't you? <laughs> While eating a beef bowl? For sure. Well, that's customer service talk right there. <laughs> find your wallet well if not you might as well file a theft report inside oh dude we find the defendant Ichiban Kasuga guilty of murder he is hereby sentenced to 15 years in prison You guys can't see it on my screen, but Steam Achievement Unlocked for the family. For the family. All right, gang. Now that we've got a save screen up, I'm going to go ahead and end this installment here. I am super excited to see what has changed after the time skip. We got 15 years ago, as so it was 2001, 2011, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. That's 15 years. Oh, man. So this is going to be a roller coaster, gang. But I'm really intrigued to see how the story goes. I'm intrigued to see what happens with Ichi now that he has sort of you know, taking this hit for the Awakawa family and see, you know, if they end up welcoming him back with open arms or just straight up keeping him banished. I'm interested to see how the other characters have sort of grown, you know, from Masato to the boss to Joe to everyone. This game has been great so far. Now that we are through the incredibly melodramatic prologue, we should probably be about getting into some of that brevity that the Yakuza series is known for. So, gang, this is Kawaii 5 I hope you have a phenomenal day. Thank you so much for watching this video. I appreciate it. And remember, real Yakuza, like and subscribe. See you in the next one.